just in time for summer is this really nice looking orange 1973 Ford Mustang convertible. It does have the Mach 1 hood, Mach 1 decals on the hood and the sides. It's got the front chin spoiler, it's got the rear spoiler. Uh, just a really nice loaded original 107,000 mile car. As we get to the interior, I'm pretty sure the interior is all original. It's been repainted uh, and done in kind of a house of colors orange. Just a really nice looking car. Riding on a nice set of chrome uh, rally rims, period correct rally rims. It does have the enduro plastic uh, rubber bumper in the front. Chin spoiler looks nice, bumper looks good. It's got a couple tiny little scuffs in the bumper, right here. Another one here. But a lot of times these bumpers are all cracked up and this one's in excellent shape. It does have the Mach 1 hood pins. Uh, it's got a really nice grill, horse and corral. That all looks real good. As far as as we open up the hood, the engine compartment looks fantastic. You can tell that the air conditioner has all been serviced. Um, that looks brand new. The engine compartment, the top of the motor, valve covers, air breather, all of it looks really nice. When they painted it, they did a nice job of painting the inside of the fenders and putting all the correct rubber stoppers and stuff back in there. It's got a new Napa Legend battery that we put in. Bottom side of the hood is all painted body color, looks real good. This is a 351 two barrel. locks work as they should. It also has the secondary latch as well. If we look at her hood gaps, pretty even, a little wider in the front than in the back, but really all honesty is pretty even from front to back. The driver's side one, um, as far as the gap goes, the fender could be moved in just a little bit there. It is a little wider than in the front also than in the back. As we look across the top of the hood, the paint, the black paint's in great shape. It's got the 351 Ram Air stickers, which obviously it isn't. It's a 351 Cleveland two barrel, just like it would have come. As we look up and down the sides on the paint job though, this is an older paint job, but looks absolutely fantastic. If you look from bumper to bumper, you look down the sides of the body, uh, the body's in fantastic shape, super straight. One thing that uh, I think personally would look really good on this car is a set of wheel well trim. I did not do it. Um, I just kind of wanted to keep the, the price reasonable and stuff like that and get it on and get it sold. But a set of wheel well trim, in my opinion, would really look sharp on this car. If we come up here to where the uh, front bumper meets the front fender, a lot of times this is hodged up. This is really nice and clean. Um, our front bumper is not molded together. You can definitely feel the line there. It's a really solid car. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, You'll see just how solid the original frame rails, torque boxes, floors, trunk, all of that is. It's just a super clean original car. The wheels polished up beautifully. Um, they are 14 inch wheels, they're 205.70s on the front and they are 14 inch with disc brakes. No bubbles or blisters on the lower front fender. Um, we do have a paint chip right here on the edge. Other than that, the rest of the edges is really nice. The gap's really good up here. Top of the fender's good. The antenna's good. It's got the seal around there. The dual sport mirrors, and that's very tight. If we look at the top of the dash pad, it does have one crack on the dash pad and just one. The rest of the dash here is just in excellent shape. Even by the speaker, all that's in good shape. Windshield looks good as well. One other thing that could easily be changed, the Restore uh, chose to paint the outside door handles. There again, um, you can easily replace those with the new ones and uh, put that back to stock if you'd like. Uh, rear gap is nice and even up here to the thing, just at the very bottom it gets just a little bit wider, but uh, doesn't have any clearance issues anywhere there. No bubbles or blisters in the door or the lower quarter. Again, if you look at the undercarriage, you'll see why there's no bubbles on the outside on this side here. It's just a super solid original car. No bubbles or blisters in the quarter panel. Nothing over top, the wheel well all looks great. 
and wherever you feel the paint on this it's all been buffed beautifully it's got a really nice shine and again very very straight this is definitely a quality car it has a great dual exhaust system on it uh, nice chrome tips back bumpers all original nice and straight and clean but if you look really close you can see it's just some oxidation on the bumper guards it's got the correct uh, original Ford lenses the uh, gas cap door again is original so that's starting to fade out a little bit in the center the honeycomb stuff is in good shape check out our trunk lid look how nice and flush that fits another thing even with this heavy spoiler on there the trunk lid does stay up on its own you don't have to hold it up If we look at the top of the paint, stuff like that in the trunk, it's a beautiful shape. There is just a little, little crack in the paint here. Very small. But I like that no one filled in these uh, factory body seams here. They've never been filled in. The top's in great shape. It's a power top. It's a tan top and it's like new. If we open up the doors, the corner of the doors look good. Uh, door panels are 100% original, guys. We got a crack here in the door panel. Another one right here. Uh, the carpet on the door panel looks good. It's got power windows, which is a nice option. Which the power windows all did work. They were all up and they all work from the driver's side uh, mechanism. Inside door jams are all painted. Obviously this isn't the original color on the car, but uh, I'm guessing the, the seats and carpet and uh, door panels, everything's original. Uh, passenger seat still looks really good. Driver's side seat, we have a seam split right on that cover. And then it also has a seam split on the back cover, right? Get my shadow out of the way right there. Seat backs are good. You can tell the, you can't see this from the top, but right here underneath the seat, that seam is split also. It's got seat belts for two in the back. They got the retractables. Door panels are good, but it does have some uh, chipping and stuff like that of the paint over the years. The roof rail rubbers seem like they're in good shape. They're older, but they're still pliable. It has a fasten uh, seat belt light. It's got an AM FM 8 track. See AM FM works. We're gonna go ahead and see if it's uh, gonna blow out any cold air. This is an air conditioning car. So we'll see if we need to charge it or not. Wipers are in working order. might have a delayed wiper this on this side here because it kind of goes over top of the, the normal wiper the park there yeah so on the left side if you turn it this way kind of feels like a delayed wiper maybe there on this way see their speed and in the middle they're off um, it does have the rim blown steering wheel guys and it is not working at least it looks like the rim blown yeah it is uh, Council's in good shape. Clock doesn't work as well on the console. The air is definitely blowing cool. It's kind of a hot 80 degree day out. It's blowing cool. We'll see how cold it gets here in a minute. Ashtrays in there. Console lid. That's in good shape. Glove box as far as its original glove box. So inside the glove box could use a new insert. That cardboard's getting wore out. It's got the original floor mats in it and the original carpet, guys. It's got a little hole in the carpet here just from wear. Original floor mats. I mean, this is a survivor interior. Really kind of cool. You don't see an interior uh, all left original like that. Sorry about that. As we look at the driver's side, it's nice and straight. Dual exhaust sounds good. There's no smoke, no valve guide smoke. As we look up the driver 
driver's side, the passenger side was straight, the driver's side is just as nice. You can see reflection really nice in the paint anywhere you look. So it's got a nice finish. It's been wet sanded and buffed when it was done. It's not full of orange peel, nothing like that. Nice and clean. It feels just smooth. No bubbles or blisters. It's got just a, three or four little tiny little paint chips, very small. Over the wheel well is perfect. Lower quarter is perfect. No bubbles or blisters. We have about four little paint chips right along that door edge. As we go up and down the edge, we got a really nice even gap. Top of the fender looks good. Lower fender's good, no bubbles or blisters, but again, um, three or four little, little, tiny little paint chips. Now that striker is original too. That's probably what's going on in the passenger door. You can just see that bushing. That goes around that striker is just a little worn. I'm gonna go back over to that passenger door and kind of see what was going on. I didn't want to shut that first time. Yeah, same thing, that striker bushing is worn. It shuts good. Window rattles a little bit. We got the window down just a little bit too far in that looks like. It should have Go, let's go down just a little too far instead of being right there in that felt. That's the rattle you're hearing. It's got its original information here X for trans, axles 2, DSO 41, trim CF, color 6F, body is 76D. Door jam paint's all done. Bottom of the door looks good. Again, we mentioned it, there's a seam split in the back. There's a seam split right here in the driver's side. But the rest of the seat uh, looks nice and original. Um, crack in the door panels, a couple of them, one here, one here, a couple right here. The wood grain in the door panel is really nice. The carpet's nice. Your power top switch is right here. Also, one other thing, guys, the alternator light was on when I got it. I'll uh, double check everything. It seems to be charging fine. Started fine out here once I shut it off. Don't know if it's just a, a light that's on um, that needs to be taken care of or if we do need to uh, replace the alternator or, or something like that. Here's our power window on the driver's side. Driver's side rear. There's the passenger side that rattled a little bit, just went down a little too far. And here's the one in the back. So all four of our windows go up nice and smooth. They go down smooth. I'm gonna leave that one about right there so it doesn't rattle. The driver's side one chugs just a little bit, comes down a little choppy, but it goes down fast. Same thing with the back one, so. Uh, gas gauge works, it does have tilt wheel. Power top, um, lights instead of the gauges. Air conditioning is cool. It probably needs just a little more kick of Freon, but it definitely is cool. You can hear it just kicked off. Kick back in. Go ahead and shut that off. Um, so our wipers work, the horn and clock do not work, guys. Other than that, everything else is in working order. It's got a remote mirror on it. Power steering, uh, power brakes, air conditioning, power windows, power lock. Power lock does not work either. Unless that uh, locks the windows, but I don't think so. No, that must be power lock. Power lock's not working. This 351 two barrel guys really runs nice. Uh, kick down works on the transmission. Shocks feel good. Uh, steering wheel is nice and straight. As we go straight down the road, the steering wheel is perfectly straight. Doesn't seem to need an alignment. 
As far as our brakes go, no pull left or right. It does have the disc brakes on the front. Power disc. This car came from Missouri. Um, came from a real nice, uh, real good caretaker and owner. Just wasn't driving it as much as he uh, thought he would. Um, also the interior dome light works there. The tilt wheel is really nice guys. It's just on the same lever. Tilt it back up. You got plenty of leg room. I mean just a ton of leg room here for somebody that uh, wants to use the tilt. I'll keep the mine down like this. The seat's comfortable. A lot of times on these original seats they're all wore down and beat down. Um, this one seems really comfortable. 351 two barrel transmission shifts great really nice there's 70 mile an hour just like that 80 shifts again in third um, this thing does not miss a beat it runs down the road awesome as we look over the uh, as we look over the top of the hood hood lines up nice paint looks nice and clean under the hood kick down on the tranny works Really rides nice and smooth down the road. We're not fighting the steering. Steer, one finger on the wheel. Steering feels really nice and tight. Here's our brakes. Brakes are not choppy. They don't have a hard pull. Yeah, nice straight brakes. Good stopping power. transmission. 